Paris is the capital of romance and sexual attraction, which might explain why France has the world's third highest rate of plastic surgery. Sometimes we need a very small procedure to make people uh, uh, okay in their mind. We are, we are working outside and we are treating inside. God does not want your unhappiness. God wants you to be in the best conditions to serve him, to work with him. Do these doctors really believe God wants people to have plastic surgery? Well, yes, they do. But they're not talking about tummy tucks and breast implants. They're talking about other procedures requested by patients from the city's Arab quarter, where many Muslims maintain their traditions and some long to leave them behind. I wanted the freedom to do what I wanted to do. In other words, it's my body and I can give it to whomever I want. I didn't want to ask permission from my family or anyone else. Alana began a love affair with a native Frenchman, but after several months, he left her. I have never married, and to me, that is something that must be completed in life. Alana returned to her community to seek a husband. She recently received a proposal of marriage. There's just one catch. If I was not a virgin, he would not want me. So fortunately, or unfortunately, I told him I was a virgin. Alana's fiancé asked her to produce a certificate of virginity signed by a Muslim doctor. To get that, she'll need a hymenoplasty. Mm -hmm. Muslim woman, if she doesn't have uh, her, uh, this surgery, maybe we can say her life is finished. Not only in, in society, but inside her family. Sometimes it's uh, really a, a, a death danger. Um, I don't exaggerate. But for one woman who climbed these stairs today, the operation is not simply about deception. I met a man who presented himself to me as tender, charming, and sweet. One day he invited me to his home for dinner, and when I arrived, he forced himself on me. After the attack, Sarah ran to her mother's home, hoping for support and understanding. What she found was something else. A night out in Paris has become a nightmare for a young Muslim woman. My mother told me to be quiet and took me to a public hospital to see a gynecologist who took me into the examining room by myself. He told me the membrane is broken, but I do not have to tell your mother. And when my mother entered the room, he told her, your daughter is still a virgin. My mother praised the Lord and said we should never speak of this again. In the Muslim society, if a woman loses her virginity, they would never try to find out or understand why or how it happened. They would simply consider her a prostitute. Dr. Abacassis assures Sarah that he does not share that opinion. I believe sincerely that these women are helped by my hand, which is guided by God. It is my job. This is my job, is to give to, the, to this person the, co the coherence, to be herself, to be inside, matching with the outside. The doctor tells Sarah she has given herself a gift, the freedom to be whoever she wants to be. Sarah knows it is also a secret she must keep forever. If one of the family knew that one of their girls had hymenoplasty, they would disown her completely. If someday I have a girl, I will tell her my story. Whatever she did, whatever happened to her, I would stand by her. Because for me, there was nobody.